Hey everybody, Cybermark here. I started doing Hack the Box recently as a way to improve my pen testing skills. One thing I'm finding that's pretty common in Hack the Box is to modify our Etsy host file so that we can properly enumerate the web application. For whatever reason, when doing these labs, I have to pause and then come back to it. And oftentimes, my IP address is changed. So we're gonna spawn a new machine here and while that's going, I'm going to tail the last line of my Etsy host. So do a tail dash one of my slash Etsy slash hosts file. All right. So here's the IP address uh, I have in there right now for this box I was working on. I stopped midway through uh, going through the challenge and came back to do the lab and I need to modify it right now. I, I could easily have this open uh, this file and change it once it pops up. But I like to do things on the command line. It's fun. That's why we do this as uh, enthusiasts, right? So while that's going, I'm going to prepare a line using the stream editor said. That's right, I said said, um, S-E-D. So let's prepare the line. It's going to be said dash I. And we're going to put that in the quotes. We're going to start that by taking this IP address here. We'll just highlight that and then middle click. We're going to take that existing string. And what we're going to do, oh, look at that. I was only off by a couple last time. All right, we're going to throw, this is a field separator here. So now we're going to throw in the new IP address of 10.129.58.187. Right. And I, I know there's probably quicker ways to do this, but I think this way is kind of fun and it grows your skills with said, which can be useful for all kinds of things later on. So uh, what I'm going to do here is minimize this so you can, I can expand my screen and you can see how I uh, am going to use two commands to kind of pop out the difference. So Etsy hosts is the file that we're modifying. And then we're going to put a semicolon and run a new command and we're just going to run our tail dash one again for our Etsy hosts file. All right, so let's go over this command for just a minute. Our current Etsy host file, which is uh, the file that your computer will use when it needs to resolve a uh, domain name to an IP address. So this is before it even goes and sends out a DNS request. It'll check this file on your system and then resolve the address for you. All right. And so as said before, in order to properly enumerate a web application, many times you have to uh, change this so that you're looking at the domain name, right? So here's what I do. I do a said tech I with a uh, re string replacement of the old IP address with the new one. And then I spit out the last one, uh, the last line of that Etsy host file to make sure it's changed. And lo and behold, there's the one liner that swaps it out for me. Um, you can use set for all kinds of other string replacement. I often do that for Linux config files. Um, and that's it for today. So now I can get on to doing this lab and I have the proper Etsy host file. Thanks for sticking along with me on that. Uh, if you found it useful, that's awesome. Uh, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe. I don't post as often as I probably should, but that's me. It's life. It happens. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.